happy February, happy Monday. I decided to do a work vlog this week and I'm so tired, so forgive me. I'm trying to wake up. We're getting there. Yeah, so if you're new here, my name is Heaven. I'm a CPA, I'm a state auditor. And I just started in charging my very first audit last week, it was my first week of being an official in charge. And I wanted to do a week in the life this week because last week's work week was just not a good week. It was not good. It was rough for many reasons. I'm determined for it to be a better week this week, just a better headspace, more positive. So welcome to a work vlog. It is Monday at 6.30, probably gonna log on at seven. I'm working from home today. Hopefully I can wake up soon. I think a big reason that last week was rough was also because the last couple weekends, I've been really busy hanging out with people, doing random things. It's been really fun, but I didn't get to rest hardly at all. So this weekend I made it a priority to rest, get caught up on my reading, take some naps, watch some TV, and it was the best weekend. So I feel much better going into this week. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's almost eight o'clock in the morning. I just looked outside and it's snowing. What a surprise! Happy Monday! Oh my gosh! Oh, it tastes like real snow. It must be real. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is my weather. I'm all about the cold weather. I thrive. I knew it was gonna be a good day. Alright guys, it's 9 o'clock. I'm taking a little work day break because of the snow. And I decided to take my drone out and see if I can get some good little snow shots. The snow is not sticking like on the ground, so it's not, you know, super pretty, but it's so magical. I mean, we don't ever get snow, so it's a big deal around here. snow I think it's so pretty all right it's 10 30 I guess I'm just taking a two hour lunch break breakfast break really I just love the snow it's so pretty I think I'm gonna get some lunch while I'm out since I am hungry I'm gonna get some Zaxby's I'm kind of feeling some chicken I think I'm just gonna take that the chicken plate it's gonna be $8.95 <laughs> thank you this is lunch not the healthiest but definitely the tastiest phone call after phone call after phone call not about the audit stuff but about trying to get to their accounting software so we can start the financial audit instead of just running around requesting stuff we can actually start dealing with numbers fast forward several hours later i ended my work day an hour early because i was getting way too fed up everything and then I took a nap because you guys know that's my favorite thing to do and I edited that drone video for the snow footage got it up and now I'm gonna heat up some taco meat that I made yesterday for some dinner and then I will run the Bible study because it's getting started back up again I'm really excited we're doing a book study called in his image by Jen Wilkin so I need to look somewhat presentable and I will be with other humans again Happy Tuesday, you guys. Good morning. I don't know where I left you guys off yesterday, but I did go to Bible study. It was fantastic. Because we hadn't seen each other since like 
November. We stayed pretty late, so I didn't get home until about 9.30. Then I was on the phone with my friend Laura for about an hour and then Amy's. Last night was so great. I just felt so happy, fulfilled, satisfied because I got to socialize and see people and that just fills me to the brim. So great evening. I'm very, very thrilled with that. However, I did not fall asleep until about 12.30, but that's all right. You guys know I live for naps anyways. So I'm gonna go into the office today because we have to move out of the office. What? Yeah, my office building is renovating now, so they're booting us out. So yeah, this is the last week we're allowed to work there, but I probably will only work there today because my coworker, my last in charge on my fall audit, he's there today. He's not on any audits out here in East Tennessee. So he's gonna go to his audit site starting tomorrow and I won't see him until our fall audit in like July or August. And he's like my favorite in charge in the whole world. He's just so wise. He's worked here for 20 years. He's great. And I have a lot to learn since I'm in charge and I really need him. He'll be a phone call away. It's no big deal. So that's the update everybody. I'm kind of rushing around because I want to get there as early as I can. It's seven o'clock now, so I may leave here in a couple of minutes. I'm heating up the car. Should get to work around 7.30. So I just left and already three things. One, we got some more snow last night, so there's like a thin layer of snow. Two, I can feel my car slipping, so it's very icy. So I'm gonna take my time to get there. And three, I just saw a raccoon when I was getting into the car, <laughs> leave the dumpster. So it's gonna be a good day, I can already tell. That's a good sign, ain't it? There's downtown, you guys. There's your morning skyline. All right guys, it's almost noon and I'm at the office and I'm gonna show you a little before of the chaos that we're in because they're renovating or about to start renovating. So we have to move everything out by today or tomorrow. Here's what we're looking at. We'll start with this little corner. Pretty nasty, but there used to be a giant desk there. We still have all of our office supplies everywhere. There's my desk and all my stuff. And I have to take the windows home along with all my photos, which I don't even think we're allowed to have photos. And then my coworkers mostly moved out all of his stuff in his trunk. And then that's my photo I'll also be taking. All of the work papers are all boxed up, ready to head to Nashville during the renovation. Another coworker got most of his stuff. And this is our guest. Whoever comes to work with this can work here. And I think all of the filing cabinets have been emptied. Doesn't it just look so pitiful and sad? And then we have storage back there in that room, but I don't feel like going through the editing to blur everything out. But yeah, our office is looking a little pitiful. Also, in the middle of quarantine, I decided to buy us a cuckoo clock. It's not on the hour, but I can make it pop out. <laughs> yeah, so I love that thing. It keeps us company. So it's four o'clock. I got here, what, 7.30? It's been a whirlwind of a day. Not even like audit wise, but just a lot of things happened today. A lot of things I can't talk about. And it was very intense at lunchtime, but all is well. But actually I'm, I'm headed over to our other Knoxville office because of those shirts that our office gave us all. We have another Knoxville office for our other audit division, local government. I'm in state audit. And, and one of the auditor's shirts got sent in our order. So I'm gonna go give her her shirt. Let me run this aside, I'll be back. Excuse me. All right, I dropped off the shirt and I'm gonna head home. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'll probably keep you guys posted. I may take a nap, may watch TV, may read a book, may do a workout, we'll see. What the heck am I gonna do with all of these boxes and random windows? in my apartment for months. I may take the windows to Goodwill because once the office is actually renovated, not that we're gonna have any windows, but it's probably gonna be nice paint. All right, you guys didn't ask for this, but we'll do a random Amazon unboxing. First we have Garden City. It's supposed to be about balancing your faith with your calling and your daily life and your career, how you can minister everyday life. I've seen many people recommend this, so I decided to buy it. Box number two, I got a posture corrector. You wear it like a backpack and it's supposed to help you sit up straighter. We'll have fun with that this week. Also, y'all, I didn't order this and it looks like I got ran over by a car. It has an old barcode ripped off. Yana Best, share the best things and love. Skin cells rebirth system. Oh my God, it's open. Ew, what is this? Somebody returned it. They didn't take it out of the box. 
Y'all, it's literally open. I don't know what it is, but we're throwing it away. Ugh. So somebody's return never got returned. This should be my Bible case. So I got a new Bible for Christmas. I love it so, so much, but it has not left my house. I still bring my old Bible to church and to Bible study because I don't want to damage this Bible. It's very precious. It's very big and I want to read the whole thing cover to cover. So I want to take very good care of it. Stand firm in your faith. I didn't have any options on the wording, so that's why I'm laughing about it. I can even bring my planner. I can literally carry this to church. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, there's our little unboxing just to make this vlog even longer, and you guys are probably already tuned out by now. It's almost 8 o'clock now. I actually was in the mood to edit a vlog, so I went ahead and got a head start. I went ahead and edited Monday and then today so far, and y'all, we're already at 10 and a half minutes, <laughs> so we're going to need to cut it out a little bit these next three days. We're going to have to work together on this as a two-way street. <laughs> Just kidding. I just talk too much. So I'm probably going to read a little bit of Acts tonight for just short of an hour before I head up to bed. Happy hump day, you guys. It is about 7.15, so I'm going to log on at 7.30. But first, I need to get my computer back on my desk since I worked at the office yesterday. Got my water with some emergency powder. I literally look bald. I have hair today, you guys. It's just hidden. I am so thirsty. I woke up at like 4 a.m. so thirsty and I drank a whole glass of water. <laughs> also, I fell asleep at about 10.30 last night, which may not be remarkable for most of you, but I have not fallen asleep. But I just poured way too much hair. I have not fallen asleep that early in months, several months. All right, we've got our breakfast bar, cliff bar, coffee, and a little bit of water. It's about noon, lunchtime. It's been a pretty busy day. Lots of calls with IT, still trying to get into the accounting software for my client. We were successful, however, they gave us faulty logins, so we can't actually get in, but we have the program set up to where once we get logins, we can get in. And a few minutes ago, I came to the kitchen, and it smells like death in here. It, I've never smelled something this bad. I don't even know how to describe it, but I'm low-key concerned that something died under the floor or something. I'm gonna vomit. It did not smell like this this morning. So something has like erupted in the last four hours. Okay, so I have hamburger grease, not hamburger, beef, beef grease, what do you call it? And you know, I just put it in this mug so it doesn't go down the sink and clog my pipes. I think that's it actually. I haven't held that up to my nose close enough. Okay, I'm gonna dump that, but I also was thinking maybe it was like spoiled milk in my plastics to go to recycling. So I'm gonna run to the recycling center. Oh my God, I'm about to throw up. <laughs> I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> I don't know how y'all drain your grease. I just recently started doing this a few months ago, but it's never smelled before. I can't even concentrate, I'm so disgusted. My next thought was gonna be my garbage disposal, but I keep up with that. There's never anything in there. I have a very, oh! I'm about to get sick. That was it, you guys. That was it, we solved the problem. I don't know why all of a sudden today, this has been sitting on my counter for about three weeks and it's never smelled in the last few months that I've had mugs of grease. We're gonna go to the recycling center. I may also swing by something to eat to grab some food because I am pretty hungry. Okay, scratch the getting food idea. I am just not, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> All because of that grease. So I heated up some toast and put some cinnamon on it. So I'm gonna try and spark my appetite again because I was starving before I smelled that. And then I'll have a late real lunch later, I guess. It's one o'clock now. It is now 2.30 and I finally have an appetite for lunch. So I'm gonna eat a little sandwich. All right, guys, I just logged off of work after a seven and a half hour day, which is a full day. I just plan on working a little over to give myself a shorter Friday, but I'm just tired. So I may take a nap, which it looks like I've already started. <laughs> Lately, I've been in this super like reading frenzy and I'm currently reading six books <laughs> at the same time. I just realized that yesterday. So for starters, like I said yesterday, I'm reading Acts. I just started the book of Acts yesterday and I'm also reading Hebrews and the Bible. So, you know, two books of the Bible and then a little fun novel. I'm reading Nicholas Sparks, See Me. I'm a little over halfway on this one. I read this every night before bed. And then in his image is what we're reading in Bible study. So this is an eight week study. And then yesterday you guys saw that I got Garden City. I think I may go ahead and start this right now because I'm really wanting to read it. I'm really excited about it. And I like
like to always have like a digital book in case I'm out and about stranded somewhere and didn't bring any books. So well, I want to stay on the cover. I'm reading the book Radical by David Platt. I've read it twice already, but I really, really like it. And I have bought it for like all my best friends and family. So I've had several copies myself and I've handed them out. <laughs> so I keep having to rebuy the book. That's fine because I love it. So yeah, I'm just going to lay low tonight. It's not going to be very fun or energetic. I'm just going to chill out with my lonesome. <laughs> the last few hours reading this Garden City book and I got a good chunk of it done. I highly recommend this book already. It is phenomenal. I love it. If you're a fellow Christian who's trying to balance how your faith affects your career and your calling in life, what's your purpose? Why are we here? Are you doing enough in your mundane job as an accountant? absolutely love this book. I'm going to have it linked down below. And then I've been catching up my vlog of this week that you guys are watching up to right now. But I just got a burst of energy out of nowhere and it's 7.45. So I think before I go up to bed, I'm going to do a workout because I need to. So yeah, let's jump on a Sydney Cummings workout and see if I can make it through. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go for the intense 30 minute hit cardio. I'm not promising we'll make it all the way through. Day. We made it halfway through. That was my goal. I'll see you tomorrow. Happy Thursday, you guys. I am so tired. I had to put myself a little bit together today because we have a workplace discrimination training seminar thing. So I got my breakfast bar, making some coffee. I'm gonna get some water. A daily morning routine, all about the emergency powder, as you guys know. Cheers. All right, guys, it is one o'clock on the dot. I'm gonna take a little lunch break because my head's about to explode from this new audit software. <sighs> it takes five times as long to do little things as I'm trying to learn it. But once I learn it, hopefully I can remember it and not waste time in the future. So anyways, I'm gonna make some spaghetti because I'm starving and I want like a real lunch today, so. Okay, so to prevent having that whole grease smell again by pouring it into a mug, I saw this thing on TikTok. I know, I sound like a 13 year old. Where you're gonna take some aluminum foil and put it in your sink and create like a dome like that. According to TikTok, when this congeals, you can just ball it up in aluminum foil and throw it in the trash. Testing a TikTok trend for y'all. You're welcome. Maybe life changing. You guys may be already doing that before TikTok was even a thing. Lunch is there. All right, guys, it's all congealed, so I'm gonna ball her up. I balled up the grease. Red go in the trash. <laughs> Is this for me? Uh, no. I'm dying. I thought I had a package coming, but I forgot they all came the other day. You guys watched me unbox them. Y'all didn't miss much tonight. I was supposed to go rock climbing with Lonnie, but she didn't get off work until about seven. So instead I read like three books. Not all the way through. This reading phase literally cracks me up. But now I need to do some exercise and I'm running a 5K in like eight days. So I really need to be running just so I don't die, you know, during the actual event. You can't really prepare for one in eight days. So I'm gonna run over to the gym at my complex and see if there's a treadmill open. I've lived here for almost three years, no, two and a half years, and have only been to the gym once. And I guarantee they've changed the code to get in since then. So let's not get our hopes up. You know, I may not be able to get in. Also, I don't have any water bottles besides this one. This one's like nasty. I haven't filled this up since like April. So I'm gonna take a Powerade and probably choke on my sugary spit. There's actually no sugar in these. All right, I'm obviously procrastinating. Let's go run, wish me luck. All right, so here's my issue. I made it to the gym. The lights are on, but nobody's in there and I don't know the key code, <laughs> like I told you guys. But also, if it's closed for COVID, wouldn't they turn off the lights? Let me just keep guessing some codes. Okay guys, that was a fail. Things we learned. One, lights can be on even when it's closed. 
two. Apparently you have to sign up for an appointment. I only think that because I went to the front office and there was a sign up sheet on the door, but it started for tomorrow. But the gym is open 24 seven. They've made that clear in the COVID emails that I had to read all through while I was trying to break into the gym. Yeah, it was just a fail. I would do a workout, but y'all I'm, I'm not. My muscles are not feeling it today. That's why I wanted to go on a run. I enjoy running. I like clearing my head, all the things. Well, sorry about that y'all. I feel like I led you guys on that I was actually gonna go to the gym for the second time since I've lived here, but it is what it is. All right, it's day 30. I'll probably just eat a little snack and go to bed. TGIF, you guys. I have a meeting with my manager at eight o'clock. So I'm gonna log on here at 7.30 and I just put on a little button up. Well, let's not be mistaken. I am wearing pajama pants because it is Friday. <laughs> this is our planning meeting for the audit. So me and my manager are gonna talk about any concerns we have or whatever. The start of the audit, I guess. We have these discussions every day on the phone, but there's an audit step where we actually have to have a formal meeting about it. So that's what today is. Raspberry emergency. <sighs> Happy Friday, y'all. Oh my goodness, is this gonna be another disappointment or are we actually getting something? Uh, UPS let me down. Come on FedEx, come through. FedEx just drove off. That is, both of them let me down. All right, you guys, I just logged off of work. It's 3.30, so I worked an eight hour day to make up for the 30 minutes that I shorted myself yesterday on accident. I did not know I cut it short, so I'm gonna make it up today. And now it's the weekend, but it doesn't really feel like the weekend because I just feel very stressed and overwhelmed. And it was a good day. It was a really good week, actually. Last week was rough, so this week was 10 times more than last week. But just overall, the level of stress that I feel about this audit and obviously the software, which I'm learning the software. I'll get there when I get there. We'll figure it out together. But like my client specifically, we're auditing three entities. I just have a bigger audit. I don't know why me being a brand new in charge. And at first they told me I was gonna have a co-in charge, someone to lean on that's, you know, a veteran of the in charging. And they didn't give me that. So instead I also have a new hire and she's cool. Luckily she seems to be working decently well. So it'll be fine. I need to quit over analyzing it and just take it day by day. I feel so drained, but it was a good week. It was a good week. I'm happy with the progress I got done this week. I've stayed very focused with how much work I have to get done. There's no time for slacking off. But anywho, you guys, it is only 3.30. Usually I carry the vlog on out for the rest of the day, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and get it edited and uploaded tonight so you guys can watch this week kind of in live real time. And to be honest, I'm probably just gonna lay on the couch for the rest of the day. I may go over to my parents' house. Next weekend is gonna be super busy. From Thursday to Monday, I have a lot of plans. <laughs> so I need to get my alone time and rest and relaxation in this weekend because it won't happen next weekend. But next weekend's a three-day weekend. President's Day, hallelujah. So yeah, you guys, thanks for watching this week's vlog. And yeah, thanks for keeping me company this week. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.